This is part of a problem solving lecture series in investments. Today we will have a look at problem 16 in chapter 2 from the 10th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of this problem. Let's go ahead and highlight some key facts provided in the problem. We would like to find which security should sell at a greater price for these three separate problems. So let's go ahead and start with the first problem in part A. We would like to compare a 10-year treasury bond which offers 9% coupon rate with another treasury bond, also 10-year maturity, but with a 10% coupon rate instead. Obviously, the 10-year treasury bond with a higher coupon rate will, sell, will, will definitely sell for a higher price because bondholders over this 10-year uh, period will earn higher interest payments. So therefore, we would prefer, prefer the treasury bond with 10% coupon. So basically, we are talking about this option over here. Okay, in part B, we would like to compare two call options. Both of them has three month expiration. Uh, however, one of them has a $40 uh, exercise price or strike price, whereas the second one has a $35 exercise price or strike price. Now recall that um, the call option gives its buyer the right and not the obligation, the right to buy the stock at the stock price, at the strike price, or if you will, at the exercise price. Now, at expiration, if the exercise price is $35, which is less than $40, it would be more likely for the call option to be in the money and as a result to generate higher profit. So uh, as such, we would prefer in that case the call option, the call option with the lowest price, the call option with strike price K is equal to $35, um, which is the lower strike price here, obviously. And finally, in part C, a put option on a stock selling at $50 currently versus a put option on another stock selling at $60. All other relevant uh, features of the stocks and options are considered or assumed to be identical. So a put option currently selling at $50 and another put option uh, or, or I should say another a put option on another stock which is currently selling at $60. Now also recall that the put option gives its buyer the right to sell the right to sell the security. So as such the, the put option written on a lower price stock should have more value. So we would definitely prefer the put option with lower price equal to, in that case, the lower price would be $50. And that solves our problem. Hope to see you in our next video.